Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to be checking out, basically, this is Chainsaw Man by Gigguk. I don't know what Chainsaw Man really is. I know of it. I know it's a manga. I know it's super violent. But I haven't watched, I haven't read it, and the one clip I saw was a lady in a suit at a bar throwing up in a... I'm just going to stop talking about there. Oh, I don't want to remember that. So yeah, I don't know what about this, and... Like usual, I'm going to get references from watching someone talking about it on YouTube because that's exactly the best way to find out what anime to watch. And ironically, that's actually what I believe. So I'm going to do it anyways. You guys know the deal. Link below, original video. Hit it up. When you're done, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if there's something else I should check out, let me know because I might check out Chainsaw Man after this. I don't know. Unless that throwing up thing is common. There are lines. Blood, guts, gore. No, throwing up. No. Oh. All right, everyone's talking about this new Chainsaw Man. Let's see what this show's all about. I expect yes or woof for answers. I don't need a dog that says no. Yeah, I've heard the woof and yeah, yeah, I've heard this one about her. I like the voice actress, though. What the fuck did I walk into? Chainsaw Man. Easily the... No, no, no. Let's go back. What? I... Is that a... Bunch of furries howling? Oh, because the joke is there's actually people who do this at conventions, and if there's anyone cosplaying as Makima or Makina, however you say her name, and then they do this. I've seen that. Like, literally, last time I went to a convention, there was people doing it, and it wasn't the first day of the convention, so it was really weird because they were still doing it. Oh, I'm in a bad place, aren't I? Oh, I should probably avoid this. What the fuck did I walk into? Chainsaw That's Man. hell you're walking Easily into, man. the most anticipated new anime to come out all year. The show that we weren't ready for, that would come it down does and look grace amazing. us, showing us peasants once and for all what good anime is. So, how hard did Chainsaw Man hit when it dropped? What? Damn! Yeah, pretty fucking hard. As expected, it's taken over the community by storm, and with all this extra attention comes- Okay, I just want to go back and say, this little delay here is like, oh, how hard did it hit? And it's just like, just just a guy waving, so did it, did it fail? Followed by a few seconds later, boom, explosion. Yeah, pretty fucking hard. Yeah, As expected, nice. it's taken over the community by storm, and with all this extra attention comes the extra scrutiny. After just one episode was out, already all the doubters banded together. Experts and scientists. I don't know why, but this, it's the fucking lab coats. Why are the lab coats making me laugh? I don't know why they're funny to me. I don't know why I shouldn't be laughing at lab coats. Oh, uh, this is what happens when you're hyper caffeinated when you record at night. I shouldn't be this caffeinated. I shouldn't be laughing at this, but I am. It's poured in Send thousands help. of man hours to collectively construct the perfect critique. Confident that their words would be so severe, the Chainsaw Man fandom would be put in their place and the whole anime community would see the error of their ways. Okay, I just want to point out, uh, saying the Chainsaw Man fandom would be put in their place sounds like a kink that they are fully embracing. Here's what they came up with. Mid-Saw Man? Chainsaw Man fans really? are still not recovered to this day. But do the haters have a point? Did the anime live up to the expectations it built? Did everyone overhype it? What's the deal with Chainsaw Man? Anime fans have been eating good this year, but- Really? You even put the bit of the Seinfeld soundtrack in the background. He's like, what's the deal with Chainsaw? It works. But I just, aside, I was not expecting a Seinfeld reference. Nice, but very unexpected. But you know what? They could be eating even better with our sponsor today, Boxu. Weebs, tell me. Did you get Stop fed talking about food. No, no, Don't no. This is actually weebs terrifying for me. I want Boxu. this. Boxu is my favorite Japanese no, snack box. No, stop. I actually want century. this and I don't want to get it. goodies every they're single month cheap, right very from expensive Japan. and they're very good looking. They're family businesses all over Japan. So, you know, this is the good stuff they're giving you. Guys, I'm not going to lie. My Christmas is canceled until Boxu sent me that gifts or snacks. I want to see more. Why is this a thing? Get out of here. I'm eating well because I got my own Boxu, guys. just skip this. I'm just skip this right now i can move why am i not I, it's oh. hokkaido wonderland oh i love tea you know oh there's about snacks food, and any of the food that comes from hokkaido Fuck is you, Gigguk. god dear and you know what i'm gonna treat myself by having a snack right now what i got here is the white milk boucher let's give I it a no idea what that is oh Mmm, I'm gonna be honest, I've already eaten the snack on trash taste and i wanted to eat it again because it was so good i also wanted to try some hokkaido milk carantino crisp Son of a bitch. I just, I, why am I, I, did, I didn't think being hungry or just like a little 
you know, it's like, hey, but it's been a while, so I'm a little hungry again, and I didn't think it'd be a problem, and... You just had to pull out the food. You son of a... If there's one thing that's really famous about Hokkaido, it's their milk. So I've got high expectations the of this. Oh, it smells good. Oh, this is really addicting. Oh, I need another one already. One pack is not going to be enough. Oh, no. Guys, it's the end of the year. It's the season of gifts and giving. So show someone close to your love today by giving them a box so you know they are going to be eating well. So click the link in the description and I use code GIGUP for $15 is. off your first I really boxing hate order. This is, Thank you very I, much I for just, boxing I for sponsoring want us this today. Shit. Back to the but video. It looks like it's no it's secret not that I'm already a big fan of the author, so external factors aside, I was already hyped as hell. Chainsaw Man has mentioned his else magnum this guy's opus, done. taking everything he's learned from previous works and perfecting it. Chainsaw Man was meant to be the outlier what? of Shonen Jump, doing things its own way. Chainsaw Man starts off like a pretty standard shonen. You really? can be forgiven for getting a slight feeling of deja vu watching a spunky teenager on the brink of death making a contract with the devil to gain devil powers only to be- I just realized something I heard. Maybe the Seinfeld reference he made previously fits in better because their opening sequence, and I only remember this because I saw a bunch of people on YouTube talking about it when the first episode came out, is actually a bunch of other references to other TV shows. So it's entirely self-referential to a lot of American media, even that. So maybe Seinfeld reference kind of fits in. He picked up by an organization that hunts said devils under the pretense that they can keep an eye on him and won't kill him as long as he's assisting in hunting other devils. Then we find out there's this super strong devil that they have to hunt by looking what? for his body parts, which is really risky because like any devil who's consumed some of those body parts is a super strong S tier devil and you're like, wait a minute. This is just Jujutsu Kaisen again. But that's where the similarities end. Chainsaw <laughs> Man is a typical show. I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> they took a South Park devil and just put guns on him everywhere! <laughs> okay, okay, I wasn't expecting that. On the one side, Sakura. On the other hand, Mimetic South Park devil. With all the guns! <laughs> oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. That That's good. That's Chainsaw good. Chainsaw Man is a typical shonen in the same way that Stephen King's It is a children's show about a funny-looking clown. It is brutal, Technically not wrong. Disgusting. The first one. Oh, it is metal It's very funny-looking. It pushes the edge of what it even means to be a shonen action show in the first place. Whoa. You look at some of these scenes, you see what these characters do. Is that a brain? You think, it was a brain. Hey, what Goku would do. When we first meet Denji, he is, what's the technical term for this again? A broke ass bitch. Due to some unfortunate circumstances, he lives every day just to survive. Drowned in debt, a bottom dweller of society. He sold his left eye, a kidney, one of his nuts. Yes, his nuts. Ah! Just to scrape by, living on a slice of bread a day. I mean, good lord, someone get this boy some boxu. <laughs> there you go, boxu. That was, that was a free one for you. But this immediately... He sold it. I was unaware of that. Oh, I didn't know you could sell that, but I'm sure you can, but oh. It really sets the tone for just what kind of world this is. Naruto, Demon Slayer, My Hero. These are worlds where some pretty hardcore shit can happen if you lay it out on paper, yet somehow everyone seems to have come out squeaky clean. Tanjiro had almost his entire family brutally murdered. Yeah, there was a lot still of like, there. oh, I'm going to be a good boy. I'm going to be the best boy. I'm going to empathize with all the demons. I'm going to make the world a good place. Bitch, you saw your mother's bloody corpse. How are you more mentally stable than me remembering I got my tax return due in two months? Shonen protagonists have all... Oh, should I have to do that too? Okay. Um, mind breaking aside, how the hell is Tanjiro not broken? I'm hoping Giga does one on that because if he has, I need to go see it. And if he hasn't, I hope it comes out soon. Because how is that? Oh, it's probably literally just defense mechanism or the author didn't want to do it and just ignored it. Always been about preaching that good moral. Work hard, train hard, be a this good person, and jump. aspire to be something great. Huh. Everything that Denji isn't. The man's been through hell and just wants to live in mild comfort while copping the casual feel along the way. He doesn't have any grand aspirations. He doesn't want to fight for what is right. He's not the honorable, innocent, safe protagonist we've gotten used to. While Goku is out there being like, Sell! I want you to power up to your final form so we can have a fair and honorable fight. Denji is here like, finishing move. Delete bloodline. Oh. Well, that's the thing that, well, that's the thing that dude, that actually happened. That makes him injured. Okay, Denji, oh my god. Oh god, Denji, no, this is not the way, Denji.
How many times are I just? He's editing this right. Gigwick's editing this to make it look like he's kicking him this much. Some of these have to be repeated shots. Is he actually? Oh, I hate how someone getting kicked in the nuts is actually making me want to watch this show. The selling body parts thing is terrifying and <laughs> squicky. But I don't know, just the idea of an honorable fight. I'm going to kick you in the nuts. And I just, I, I kind of want to watch it for that alone. It's stupid. It's a terrible reason. But it's kind of becoming mine. God, I like please, that. Kenji, for the love of God. Well, that's the thing that sets him apart and makes him interesting. And this is something that's pervasive throughout every single cast oh? member in Chainsaw Whoa. Man. Wouldn't you agree, Aki? Everyone here stands out from the typical what? characters you see, and I'm not like talking it? about in that usual anime way. You know, sometimes you watch these animes, and you see these characters that are like, <laughs> Look at me, I'm so quirky. Look at this weird thing I do. Isn't it so weird? Aren't I so weird and quirky? I'm not like other anime characters. And then the super weird quirk turns out to be something like, Look at me, I sit funny. People in Chainsaw Man yeah. are just actually weird. Like, I don't know, puking in a guy's mouth, and then he swallows it, and then you try to sleep with him five. Five hours later, haha! <laughs> Everyone. I just managed to repress that, and you just brought it up again, and that. Oh. He has a few screws loose, but it never comes at the expense of their character. All too often in anime, we see these characters that are distinguished by their weird quirks, and even if they have some depth to them, it always comes off as cartoonish. The anime-esque bullshit we've all gotten accustomed to. Honestly, I agree, and I, my wife loves this character, so I probably should put a different one on when I say this. But specifically, them, always... for her, the cartoonist bullshit is her character. That That's literally it. For everyone else, though, yeah. It comes off as cartoonish, the anime-esque bullshit we've all gotten accustomed to. And one thing I've got to give props for is, despite how batshit insane these guys are, they all still feel like people. Everyone is oh? just broken in some way, like they're all missing a different piece to make them normal. They're not cartoonish, they're just fucking weird and that absolutely works the oh. dynamics the antics the banter the cast is just so entertaining together like there's a scene where a bunch of devil hunters are trapped in this building possibly for an eternity waiting for death one of them has a panic attack one of them starts freaking out and goes full yandere they're laughing at each other denji falls asleep two of them decide now's the best time to pick up smoking power starts spouting off that she's going to be prime minister and raise the sales tax to 100 percent and i'm sitting here being like what the fuck am i watching chainsaw man could be a sitcom and it would still work it's like watching the cast of always sunny if they were stars of a show in an action show are they assholes okay yeah nope i need to watch this now if this is literally basically I, it... damn you giga you got me i got another show to watch I, i'm sorry the idea of just saying that this is basically all, the always sunny cast in a action anime i just I like a lot of that show. I haven't actually watched it oddly enough. I've just seen every goddamn clip on YouTube. And my wife has also shown me a bunch, and I kind of like her taste on that. I want to see that, but in an action anime? That's literally kind of the coolest way to describe this I've ever heard. Yeah, horrible, funny people them? doing Probably silly, funny idea. things. Is it just in murder. entertaining to see how they operate in the situations they find themselves in? Yes, bitch. It's all great stuff, even if the structure is a bit reminiscent to previous shonens we've seen. That is until this guy shows up, and that's when things really what? start revving up. This is the moment when Chainsaw Man really starts showing its true colors. Oh? Within the space of 20 minutes, it shifts from first gear straight to fifth gear, looks you dead in the eye, and goes, "You stupid bitch! Did you really think you knew where this was going? You feel like a dumbass for forgetting the type of world this all takes place in." Oh. It is a cruel, ruthless place where your entire life can change in one instance, one bad experience, one unlucky encounter. There are Ooh. And now I'm actually worried if there's going to be a spoiler, but at the same time, I kind of want to find out exactly what's going on because it sounds like what he's describing is a, I'm going to say a tonal shift, but more it's like the entire genre goes from dark slice of life, but also comedy to... Okay, yeah, no, it's exactly the kind of fucked up thing you think it is. There are no second chances, and villains aren't fucking around here. And just as you start to think, damn, these bad guys are pretty damn scary. Makma is then like... Yeah, that part I know. Fuck. 
Only when yeah. you start to fear the bad guys, do you see that the good guys are even more terrifying and you don't know what to believe. Who's good? Who's evil? What's really going on? More questions than everyone was evil nothing gets somehow. answered and you realize the only thing you really knew is that you didn't know a damn thing. This was the Chainsaw Man I expected. Tatsuki Fujimoto is and never has been a by the books guy. It's like he lulled us into a false sense of security then was like, all right, you've had your fun oh. now. I'm die. Thank you, whoever. The more episodes I watch, oh, the faster I click on the next episode button and my only gripe is that it feels like we've only, only just, just begun. begun. 12 episodes feels brazenly short for the story that Chainsaw Man has set up, which begs the question, am I just going to read ahead in the manga? No, because what I'm doing is watching the anime, then reading the manga. Yeah. Oh. Seriously? Um. I'm actually surprised because I, I looked up the ending. I don't get a bit of it, and I don't care because I've done that for so many anime unintentionally. At this point, I'm just used to doing that. Yeah, I know that's stupid and it shouldn't be done, but I did anyways. Ah, uh, oh, um. Love the art style of the manga. Also, there's a lot of gore, and I don't do gore well. I have a very weak stomach. It's because I'm a coward. I'm sorry, I'm a little blown away that he hasn't read it yet, considering he talked about how he loved the style already, and he's watching the anime first. I wonder how much they change. Actually, I don't know how much they change. How much have they covered? How far into the show are they? Are they on just a couple books? I don't actually know how long it is either. Ah, that's right. Huh. I read that correctly. I'm reading the manga second. How does that make you feel, manga readers? Does that make you feel uncomfortable? Uneasy? Maybe I'll mix it up. I mean, I'm not a manga reader. Well, technically I am sometimes. And even I feel a little uncomfortable. But I don't know why. That's weird. Maybe I'll read a few chapters ahead and then let the anime catch up. Maybe I'll read chapter 70 out of context. If Santa Claus is coming to town, hope he comes on a weekday because I get Sundays off. Why? Why? Is that a meme to something? It's Maybe just weird. I'll just it? translate it all into Braille and consume it that way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I was going with this. I mean, Anime is just my medium cool of choice. Do. There's nothing that will replace Kensuke Ushio's hypnotic, mesmerizing soundtrack, the stellar animation, or the voice Dude. acting that bring the chemistry these characters have to life. Or cat? What? <laughs> Impressive. Very nice. And let's see the official Spanish dub. Oh, okay. And let's see the official Spanish dub. <laughs> I feel I need to apologize to my wife. <laughs> oh my god! This is the official top! Oh! I'm assuming there's a supercut of all of powers. Let's go with lines on YouTube at this point from the Spanish dub because that. Actually, you know what? Unironically, if there is, can I get a link below for research purposes? Yes. But there are a few manga artists out there like Tatsuki Fujimoto, and after reading what the anime has covered, yeah, he's a fucking genius, all right? Only so rarely do you find someone who has such mastery of the page. Here is a man who knows how to use manga to its fullest potential, which he does consistently. If you're someone who's Damn. never really thought about layouts, paneling, or page composition, I implore you to read any one of his works and you'll immediately realize, oh... That's Fire why punch? it matters. I know this because Ooh. I never did until I could see how masterfully it could be used. Well, you know, you could just watch my other video where I go in depth about it. The work he's Might put into Chainsaw that. Man, the way he uses manga to convey ideas and feelings is something that would be impossible to translate into another medium. And so it doesn't. But what nuance it loses, it makes up for by adding its own. The anime oh? takes its own approach in telling the story. Colors are more muted. Characters look more realistic. It slows everything down, not to pad out the runtime, but just so you have time to get absorbed into this beautiful world. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, what he's talking about right now is one of my absolute favorite things in serious anime. 
negative space, having that empty time to digest what you're seeing and focus on the image itself without having to process something through your ears, without having to hear or see or understand what's being said, just to focus on what's being done in front of you. When it's done well, it's beautiful because there's something going on like right here, just the focus on the cigarette and just holding it up. It just, oh, there's so much going on visually here. And it's also such a simple image. I love negative space anatomy when it's done well. When it's done badly, it's it's bad. It's really bad. There, there's a line. And if you're on one side of it or the other, there's no middle ground. You do it really well or you, you, you just shouldn't. Sounds like this guy did it really well. Or the anime did it really well, too. And this has made some of the more dramatic moments hit even harder. It doesn't just reference cinema, it doesn't just look cinematic, it feels cinematic. Almost as if this is an anime original production, not taking its material from a manga. I mean, just look at something like this. Got it. I fucking love how it feels like this devil was just deleted from existence. Like it's what only an eerie, outerworldly creature can do. And it was just such a subtle thing that could only be conveyed in anime form. It really seems like the team have put so much thought into the visual storytelling. There are no lazy camera angles, no throwaway shots. And instead of trying to replicate what the manga has done, they've asked themselves, what is something that only we could do? They added a two minute scene of Aki getting ready in the morning and it is so beautifully calming that gives us a glimpse of who Aki is that was never in the the manga. This is some Makoto oh, Shinko new? level of vibes that absolutely did not need to be done, which shows that someone there- Okay, so what he's just talked about is very surprising to me. Because normally, there's plenty of anime that do their own thing, that make up their own scenes or add something here or there. The best and worst offender of this is probably Bleach. Because they've had some filler that is Yeah, and then they've had some that I've been told is really good. I can never get through the other filler to get to that point, but I've heard it's good. But if this stuff right here, the stuff I'm seeing right now, I would have just thought it would be negative space art that was in the original. They just decided to adapt it. No, if this is all completely original. Uh, this is not so much sounding like a recommendation as more a why have I not already watched it type of deal. I love everything here except the gore because I, again, have a very weak stomach. I will throw up on someone and my wife will be upset about that. There gives a shit. And this isn't even mentioning how good of a job they're doing with the animation. When people think good animation, they see a pretty fight scene and they think, oh, now this is good animation. Wait, 10 frames of CG? Unwatchable. But what they can gloss over is that 17 other minutes of anime in that anime. Chainsaw oh. Man simply looks breathtaking in almost every single frame. Fight Whoa. scenes aside, there is no reason why walking animation needs to look this goddamn smooth, or backgrounds look so spectacular, or hand-holding scenes should awaken something in me. Do I need to censor this? I, I it, it, of course he brings out the Spanish dub. Um, and I'm going back to watch it again. Oh. And you know what? I'll say it. The CG doesn't even look bad. I think the real reason it stands out points is just because of how goddamn spectacular everything else looks. Which experience yeah. is better? I don't know. Whatever medium you bloody prefer. Yeah. Why not both? If you have CG's two least separate versions, versions, take it. two separate styles, two separate approaches to telling this fantastic story in a way that utilizes their own medium to its highest potential instead of one trying to emulate the other. And I can't even begin to tell you how rare of an occurrence this is. Dude. Which is why it blows my mind when I see complaints that this scene doesn't look exactly how it does in the manga. Or this isn't how the manga depicted this one thing. We have a chocolate cake and a chocolate ice cream in front of us and people are unhappy that it's not the exact same flavor of chocolate and i'm like bro you have a delicious ice cream and cake right in front of you why are you complaining and of course it's her butt I... unironically why are people calling butts cake i i don't get it i, I really don't why i just it's about eating it isn't it uh, of course it is it's it's probably that uh oh, just forget i asked 
thing. Chainsaw Man is setting up for the series fan said it would be, and it hit the jackpot of having an anime production this good while in no into the series did they what get, the though? manga has done. Doesn't sound like they these finished 12 it. episodes live up to the insane hype people said it would reach? No. But we already knew that, so the real question is, is when the hell are we going to get more of it? Sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> oh god, Denji, please stop. He's still These doing it. Are already dead. What if they had to collect lost bullocks? Bullocks? From the nut kicker devil instead. <laughs> oh, that would be a weird devil just because half of the human race would absolutely fear that happening to them. You know what? Never mind. That is a very justifiable fear and probably would have a lot of power. Gigook, you son of a bitch. I'm in. I'm, I'm just going to go. going to find the show somehow, somewhere, someplace, and I, I'm going to go watch it because Always Sunny in Philadelphia in a serious anime setting with fights and then plot development and negative space usage and really beautiful animations and just slowing things down and I'm just... Ah! Other than the one... Throwing up in someone's mouth scene, and I could probably just skip that. I kind of really want to see this right now. So I'm going to go do that because, sure, hey, the one upside to adulting, I can definitely pretend there's nothing else I need to do and go do something I want instead. And that never leaves any problems at all. <laughs> Joking aside, this actually does sound amazing, and I kind of need to go do that now. So I'll do that. Otherwise, link below, original video, hit it up. And we're done. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if there's any other videos like this I should check out, let me know because... I just found something new I want to watch because of this. And I'm really looking forward to this. So I'll see you guys later. Adios.